What's up, everybody? Tuesdays with Ty for May 31st, 2011. Uh, first thing I gotta tell you is what's going on, why I wasn't, <clears throat> I didn't have an uh, episode last Tuesday. Uh, apparently, I had some serious problems. I still don't know what it was, but like when I would go to YouTube, nothing would work. And uh, I was able to get on my netbook on YouTube but it was still acting kind of dodgy. I don't, I don't know what was going on. Like, uh, I got a couple PMs on FFI that had like uh, videos embedded, and it was like a blank screen, you know, in that section. In the same way, with like any place on uh, FFI where there was videos in a post that were embedded, it was like a blank white area. Um, I don't know what the deal was. Um, I did a reboot restore whatever of my PC and after that it's it, it seemed to come back uh, but, but the, an, another problem with that is I miss a ton of messages you may have messages that I mean I was checking like every other day or so on YouTube and uh, you know there was a couple that I was behind on but I mean I have messages from like a month a month and a half ago that I never remember seeing and they pop they, they showed up after I uh, re, rebooted or what, I don't know what I did something in, in the, with my laptop where I don't know it, it said you want to restore or something and it saved all my I, I don't, I'm not real tech savvy I just follow the on screen directions and I don't, I don't think it reloaded windows or nothing but I don't know what it did but when it came by I mean it didn't just reboot the computer I mean I went into the settings or some crap and it did something so I'm back on top of the emails and YouTube's working fine for now. Um, I can view videos and everything, so um, that's a that's an explanation with last week's issue. Um, because of that, um, instead of giving one uh, T1 away, I'm going to give two away. And I uh, went through earlier and picked random comments, and I will announce the two winners right now. Uh, the first winner is Akeem or Akim Sheckler. Um, that's winner number one. And winner number two is Bradley Brenzo. Uh, that's winner number two. So both of you guys can send me a uh, message on YouTube and uh, I will get, you just send me a message with your address and I'll get that T1, those T1s out to you guys. Uh, again, that's T1 with a sheet of foamy J. Uh, yeah, so apologize about last week, but I had some computer issues. I don't know what's going on, but it seems to be fixed for now, so that's a positive thing. Uh, just a couple quick news items. Uh, a couple of them are just a re reiteration of uh, a couple of things I shared with you before uh, the last episode I did. Uh, some wheels are out of stock or low stock. Um, some of them are out. It's not that we're not going to have them anymore. I'm getting a lot of messages. Of, you know, you're quitting to sell roll nines or whatever it's just out of stock I mean we don't have a, a limitless supply at any given one given time you know we have X amount you know and you know sometimes we get a reorder before we sell out and get them sometimes we don't this time we did it so um, you know we'll have more wheels in about uh, about a month or so you know the ones that are out uh, like roll nines and um, smoothies uh, will be back in stock probably as well as I'm assuming by then V6s will be out of stock, so if you want some of those, you might want to get some. Uh, we do have quite a few mini, single bearing minis left, though, uh, but we'll have more wheels, more wheels, and we will be offering, uh, I think Kit Kat on my hand, <laughs> we'll be offering uh, collared wheels again, so we'll have some of the classic colors available. At that time, we was going to last time, we got a short supply of wheels, so we just went all white black. Uh, Foamy Greatness, I've had a lot of people ask about that, will make a return to the website in a couple weeks. Uh, I just got to wait on that to come in, or actually I've got to get it ordered and then wait on it to come in. So uh, it'll be available in uh, uncut pieces as same as before. Um, and this is a kind of repetitive, redundant of before. Some news from before, but uh, the Everslicks will be back in a couple weeks. I got all that lined out. 
uh, someone locally is going to be doing the printing portion of it. It'll be the same material. I'm just getting it unprinted and then taking my graphics to a local place and they're going to do all the magical mystical mumbo jumbo that makes the ever slicks what they are so uh, and, and the nice thing about that is I can I can turn around more often and have more graphics more frequently as opposed to before I have to order you know 150 graphics at a time and you know I have to get 15 or 20 of each and I mean it wasn't a lot of each graphic you know and it take a while to cycle through them this time you know if I've got a graphic that comes to mind I can you know whip it out and you know I can have the, the, the you know the graphics themselves ready to go in like a day and then I can start making them and still waiting you know three four weeks as it was before so there's a positive side of that not quite uh, cost effective yet enough to make customs um, that is a possibility uh, custom ever slicks which before was never really possible I uh, just got to work that out with the local with the local people uh, you know because they want to do you know full-size sheets at a time uh, you know, if I can convince them to do an individual graphic size at a time then it's definitely possible uh, but I keep you guys posted on that uh, Couple other quick things. Sorry, I'm sluggish, man. We loaded in like uh, we have to put stairs on our deck, and we had to load in like a bunch of treated lumber, like 12 foot two by 12s or something. I don't know. Them damn things weigh like 100 pounds a piece. I swear, it seems like. And our deck is on the back of our house on a hill, so we had to load it all the way. We can't get because our, our our front yard is down. And there's a pond and crap. We can't drive down there, so. We had to load all that wood down there, so my, excuse my language, but my ass is dragging. So if I'm, if I'm a little bit off, I apologize. Uh, I'm, I'm perhaps a bit older and not as, a, not as able-bodied as I was in the past when I was younger. So that's what you guys got to look forward to when you get old like me. You see the balding right here. Uh, no, I'm not just kidding. It's, it's balling. Anyways, enough, enough, uh, enough clowning business. I still can't find a location for uh, the next Huck Jam event that I was trying to have in July. There's three more places I can check that are within reasonable distance from the Pop Factory. Because like last year when we had it here, you know, we, we had the Salvation Army Gymnasium. We was able to walk over. Made it nice. I don't want it to be someplace so far away where that's not possible. So hang tight, I'm still trying to work that out. Uh, I've checked a few some places want like $600 for like four hours. I'm like, that's ridiculous. You know, I, this is not like Metro Indianapolis or something, I mean, like Cornfield, Indiana. So it doesn't make sense, but I'll keep you guys posted. Uh, also, I had a few emails or messages and emails about the uh, Revo skates. Again, I apologize. It's when you when you're making a 3D, uh, you know, a mold of a 3D uh, piece, so to speak, it's a little difficult, and uh, I'm I'm having a little bit of problems. I can work through it, but you know, I've got so much going on. I can only focus so much time on so many things, and still have time to, you know, have time for myself, for my you know, my family, my daughter, you know. So. I'm working on it. Just hang tight. I'm uh, can promise I'm going to get them done as soon as I possibly can. So I think that wraps it up for the night. It's a little discombobulated, but hey, a little discombobulated is a little bit better than nothing at all, I guess. So in closing, two winners: uh, Kim Sheckler, Bradley Brenzo. Get a hold of me. We'll get those T1s out to you. As always, guys, thank you very much for the continued support. Check out um, nocomplyfingerboards.com. Uh, great decks, great prices, great products. You know, you're supporting the, supporting the cause, and I, I appreciate, you know, all the support, continued support. So you guys take it easy. Until next week, barring no YouTube problem, <laughs> no other crap, we'll be back. Thanks again. I appreciate it, guys. We'll see you.